Welcome back. You're watching CNN News 18 with me, Grihatul Siddiqui. We are now getting an important piece of breaking news, a good one at that, where we've been told that a new ballistic missile, a new generation ballistic missile, Agni Prime, has been successfully flight tested by the DRTO on the 7th of June at around 7.30 p.m. And uh, this has happened from the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island and uh, this is off the coast of Odisha. So this is great news for the country where a new generation ballistic missile, which is Agni Prime, has been tested successfully. And uh, these are the first visuals that we are also putting out for our viewers. We also been told that during the flight test, all objectives were successfully demonstrated. Now, if we look at the Ministry of Defense also, they have put out uh, how successfully tested this flight uh, uh, really was by the Defence Research and Development Organisation off the coast of Orissa at the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island. This happened on June 7th, like I mentioned. And uh, we also understand that this was the first pre-induction night launch, like you can see in the visuals that was conducted by the users after three successful development trials of the missile. Let me actually bring in my colleague, Akash on the broadcast for more on this. Akash, this is an important update for our viewers. Just offer more perspective on this. A night launch, what does it mean? Right. So, Griha, first of all, uh, it's a proud moment for India because we have successfully tested this uh, new age uh, uh, missile. In fact, it's a ballistic missile, Agni Prime, and, you know, it is considered as successor of Agni 1 and Agni 2. It was a pre-induction flight test, and we have been told that instrument, instrumentations like uh, radar, telemetry, uh, and also the tracking system were uh, deployed at different locations, including two downrange ships. And, you know, the expectations were uh, successfully fulfilled by the particular uh, test. In fact, you know, senior officials, uh, officials from DRDO and also from the Defense Ministry were very much there uh, during the test. And, uh, uh, in fact, Rakshan Rajnath Singh has congratulated the DRDO and uh, uh, the armed forces, special armed forces who were there to conduct the particular test. Also, you know, talking about this particular missile, so it's a two-stage surface-to-surface missile system. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is considered as a successor of Agni-1 and Agni-2. We know about the uh, Agni-1 and Agni-2 missiles. And, you know, uh, DRDO is currently uh, uh, developing uh, this particular uh, missile. And we have been told that it can carry nuclear warhead as well. So, uh, you know, it's a big uh, sort of achievement. Uh, before induction, it was a flight test, and it's a proud moment for India because DRDO is working on this particular program. In fact, uh, you know, talking about this particular missile, so it has an operational range of uh, uh, more than 2,000 kilometers. This is what, uh, uh, you know, I have been told. So mm. uh, it's a big moment, proud moment, because we have successfully flight tested uh, Agni Prime Ballistic Missile. Right, Akash, and it's also important to put this uh, into perspective for our viewers because this successful testing of the Angri uh, Prime really brings a boost to India's medium-range ballistic missile front. So that also is something that is much uh, bringing much cheer to the country. Right, and uh, you know, uh, uh, one one clarification, you know, there there were speculations, uh, you know, that this uh, Agni Prime will be replacing Agni One and Agni Two. Yes, it's a successor. It has. Uh, you know, better capabilities, but as far as uh, uh, the replacement is con uh, confirmed, so, mm. uh, you know, Defense Ministry and officers have denied uh, in the past as well, and, uh, you know, uh, it is expected, uh, you know, that something big would come out as far as this particular development is concerned, and we know about the adversaries, Riha. Uh, mm. You know, uh, we know about Pakistan and China specifically. Uh, some claim, in fact, experts say that as far as Agni Prime is concerned, so we are a uh, more of, uh, you know, having Pakistan in mind as far as this particular operational range of this particular missile is concerned. However, we have adversaries like China also. Uh, but as of now, uh, you know, this is a proud moment when we have successfully uh, flight tested uh, Agni Prime.